I want to get to a Fox 5 News alert, and this one unprecedented, an FBI raid on a former president's home. That's what happened at Mar-a-Lago yesterday, and now President Trump and his political supporters are speaking out. Federal officials say the search is part of an operation to locate any potential classified documents the president may have taken from the White House during his tenure. They say it is not related to the January 6th insurrection hearings. It is not the first time federal officials visited Mar-a-Lago in search of documents. The FBI revisiting him today uh, indicates that there might have been documents that have yet to have been recovered. President Trump was not in Florida during the raid. He was in New York. In a statement, he called the incident a dark time for our nation, saying in part, quote, it is a prosecutorial misconduct, the weaponization of the justice system, and an attack by radical left Democrats who desperately don't want me to run for president in 2024, end quote. Our Fox 5 Insta poll question today is, do you think it was politically motivated? And about 700 people have voted so far. Numbers have gone down slightly in the yes camp. We peaked at about 76%. Still 71% are saying yes. To weigh in, you can go to our webpage at fox5dc.com, or you can download a vote for free on the Fox 5 app. For more on the raid and what comes next, we're going to turn to Fox 5's chief legal correspondent, Katie Barlow. Good morning, Katie. Good to see you. Good morning. So I have two two main questions for you. First of all, you know, in, in one breath, we're like, this is not the first time the FBI has searched for documents, yet at the same time, we're saying this is unprecedented. So how big of a deal is this raid? Holly, I think it's a big deal. I mean, as even the former president said himself, this was a remarkable step. This hasn't been done before with a former president, but that means a number of things. It means that a federal agent was able to go before a magistrate judge, a neutral arbiter, a part of the judiciary, and convince that judge that there was uh, a crime, likely a crime committed, probable cause that there was a crime committed, that there was evidence of that crime located at Mar-a-Lago. And when a federal agent goes before a judge, they have to swear an affidavit and provide evidence for all of those things that I just listed. And so uh, that's a remarkable step that the FBI took, but they had to go through remarkable hoops in order to get there. Here's my other question. Um, you know, the pr former president, he has Secret Service that is protecting him. How much of a surprise raid was this really, or do you think they were given some heads up? Well, we understand from reporting, I believe both from NBC News and the New York Times, that the Secret Service was given a brief heads up right before the search began that Secret Service was on property at Mar-a-Lago and provided access to the property, but didn't facilitate any of the carrying out of the search warrant. So uh, it's always a bit of uh, a difficult navigation policy when you are investigating uh, a member of the federal government or a former member of the federal government who has Secret Service protection. Uh, there was some conversation yesterday about how and when White House officials found out about the search. News outlets were reporting that White House officials did not find out until they were scrolling Twitter uh, and saw reports uh, based on the, the uh, statement from the president himself. So um, when DOJ goes about investigative steps like this, of course, it is an overt investigative step. It became public. The subject of a criminal investigation becomes aware with an overt step like this, a search like this. Um, but it is not for the public to understand all the ins and outs of it yet. This is still just a part of DOJ and the FBI doing their work during the course of a criminal investigation, and that is um, not a part of a public process. Uh, we've only got about 30 seconds left, Katie. Uh, two questions. It's kind of the same question, but different avenues. One is, where does this literally go next? What are the next steps? Uh, in the same vein, Lots of analysts talking. What does this mean for politics in the future? Because many people think this is a political step and it's it's just crossed a boundary we haven't before. Well, where this goes next is anything that was collected yesterday, they go through it and begin to mine all of that that documentary documentary evidence or anything that they collected. That takes time. I wouldn't expect any big moves anytime soon. In terms of politics, the president and his party seem to be embracing this as part of a political narrative. He's the one who announced the raid. He's the one who came out and compared it to Watergate immediately and made it political. So it seems to be a part now of the political strategy uh, as far as where that political strategy goes from here, uh, we'll have to watch and see. All right, Katie, as always, we appreciate your insight. Thanks much.